Hey guys, GT Machine here. I'm just going to go ahead and do my uh, second oil change here on the car since I've owned it. I did the first one about a, two weeks after I've owned it because the Carfax and I make sure that got one done within the last uh, two months before I bought it. Um, it's got about 2,000 miles on it, but it's been about a year, and usually it's about a year. You should let the oil sit in there before it uh, loses all its detergents and all the <clears throat> additives in there where they start breaking down. So I'm going to go ahead and get it changed, and I'll show you the supplies I'm using. All right, guys, so here's the stuff I'm using. Um, here's the oil filter. I buy the whole canister and everything assembly together because you got to buy the O-ring separate from the filter if you buy it from Porsche, and it's only a couple bucks more. And then also I've got the crush washer for the drain plug. Here's the oil I'm using, the Mobile One 0W40. I've always had good luck with Mobile One. I've never had a problem using all my high-performance cars I've owned, and it's never let me down. And then to get it poured in so you don't make a mess, I bought, picked up this little... Uh, oil fill with a spout and it's also uh delineated so you know how much oil you're putting in so you can fill it properly and then uh, one tip when you do do the oil you want to do is take off the cap there for access and undo the cap here so gravity will help it go down and also natural air pressure and i'll go ahead and get the lift set up and we'll get it up in the air So the quick tag comes with two sets of blocks. For the Cayman GT4, you want to use the, the lower set because it won't be able to get underneath the rocker panels and get underneath the car. So I'm going to get these put in. Once you got all the lines set up and everything, let me set the go ahead and raise it up just a little bit. And then one thing you want to do before you raise it all the way up is go back and double check, make sure all your lift points are good, and it's solid on the, the jack pads underneath. Everything looks good, so we can go ahead and raise it up all the way. <clears throat> the one thing I don't like about these um, is where the hoses come out at the bottom. Um, you have to be very careful when you stack them up or roll them out as they come out through the bottom of the lift. Now, if they put a quick disconnect right on the, the cylinder itself, it probably would have made it a lot easier. But other than that, they've been great. I've had them for about four years now, never had really any problems out of them. Occasionally I have to top up the air on the cylinder side, so it squeezes all the air back out of it. They do have a new set out now that everybody likes that gives you, I think, an extra two or three inches from what these give you, a little extra rise. Every couple, uh, every little bit makes a difference. So once it's all the way up, you want to check them, make sure everything's good, and then really lower it back down under the locks. And just make sure both sides lower down correctly on the locks. That way there's no issues to, for it to fall or anything like that. So let's go ahead and uh, get underneath the car and uh, start draining the oil. All right, so the tools you want to use is a 3 8 ratchet, a swivel. This is before taking the oil filter out. Uh, small extension, this would be for taking the drain plug out. Larger extension, that's going to be for the oil filter wrench here. And then this is... 
Let's see if it's marked. It should be marked. Oh, there it is. This is a 76 14th uh, cup wrench. And then my oil drain right there for the drain to oil in. And another big thing, you want to take some paper towels underneath with you. I have shop towels, but you can use uh, just regular paper towels. These are drape over the uh, cross member and also prevent oil from getting on you when you uh, remove the filter cartridge because it's positioned just like this up in the car, straight down. Um, another thing to note, um, I, what makes it easier, you can start the car and run it for a bit to warm up the oil. Um, however, I don't really see a need on that time constraint prohibitive. It's about 70 degrees in my garage. And then also it's been sitting for about two days, hasn't run. So all the oil should be in the pan. All right. So I'll go ahead and uh, get the oil draining first. Then the drain plug is going to be right here. Go ahead and insert, make sure the wrench is all the way up in there. And then loosen it up. I had on tighten. So once it's loose enough to where it's finger tight, go ahead and remove the wrench, place your drain plug, and then try not to make a mess. So what you want to do is unscrew it and then feel it to where it's off the threads. And then once it's off the threads, quickly move it out of the way. That way you don't get oil over your hands or anywhere else. Surprise is actually pretty dirty for only having about 2,000 miles on it. So while it's that strain, I'll go ahead and set up my cup wrench for the old filter housing. So swivel goes on the bottom here, and then extension. And I'll go ahead and let that drain and then show you the old filter. All right, so <clears throat> there's the old filter uh, housing here, the black canister as you see here in the picture right here. And the biggest thing you want to do here is lay a paper towel over across your cross member here, just so if you catch any oil dripping down. So we'll go ahead and uh, loosen it up first, then we'll uh, place the paper towel down. Okay, insert your cup wrench up there, get it completely seated, and give it a loosen it up. These aren't very tight, they shouldn't be. If they're that tight, then there's an issue. And then all you want to do is bring it down so it loosens up and then crosses the, the ceiling ring. So see how it twists like that? That's all you need right there. Uh, and we'll take the paper towel. cross member just so it catches any oil that may or may, or may not come down so it doesn't make a huge mess and I'll go ahead and uh, the oil drain and then stick your hand up in there and then just slowly loosen it up and then you'll feel it disconnect just be careful towards the end so you won't dump it on yourself it's out and then slowly slide it down and then now oh, I caught it the filter came off so see sometimes this can happen the filter comes out of it just put your finger up in there and pull it down and then dump it right into your bucket or your pan That's why we got the rag there. So go ahead and grab another paper towel. Let's 
clean the frame rail off if we spill any. And also catch the drips while I go get the new oil filter. So take your new oil filter and then just use some of the used oil and then put around the, the new O-ring on the cartridge housing. Just so there's a little bit of lube on there and give it to where it doesn't catch and roll up on you and then cause a leak. And then what I want to do is put it back up in there, pull the towel away, slide it up in there, and then slowly screw it in to where you can't go anymore with by hand. And then I'll put the tool up in there. Grab the tool, slide it back up in there, and what you want to do is spin it till it stops. Just be easy with it because you don't want to break it. All right, so stop right there. So what you want to do is just a little bit further, just torque it on there. Just like that. And that's it. And then just take a paper towel, reach up in there, clean off any oil or mess you may have left or created. And that's the oil filter. <clears throat> All right, it's been pretty much drain long enough. So fine stream, this is about the same as it was the first time when I changed it a year ago. So I already placed a crush washer on the drain plug. So we'll go ahead and put a new crush washer on the drain plug. Tighten it to where it's hand tight. And go ahead and uh, give it a spray of brake clean just to clean it off before I tighten it. And we'll go ahead and tighten it up. I think these are about 35 newton meters normally, but if you're pretty good with this, all you do is you Pretty much tight until it stops and then just a quarter turn more just to give it some crush on the crush washer and that's pretty much it i've never had a problem with drain plugs coming loose ever but if you guys are uncomfortable you're more than welcome to get the torque wrench out and torque it up and i'll give it one little quick spray just to clean off anything residual And we'll go ahead and go top side and put the oil in it. We'll go ahead and get all this stuff moved out of the way here. <clears throat> all right, time to fill the oil. This is what makes it nice about this little one uh, 12 quart uh, box I make now. It comes with a nice little spigot. And then with the, I guess my uh, can to fill it up. You can easily measure it out, but I'll tell you, the Cayman requires about between 7.2 to 7.5 quart, or quarts, liters of oil, depending on how much you let it drain. So we'll go ahead and fill it up and do it in uh, two liter increments. So just go ahead and open the spout, let it fill up, and then we'll go ahead and uh, put it in, which we'll rinse and repeat.
put a paper towel down so it doesn't drip on the floor. And then put the cap on so we don't make a mess in the interior. All right, let's go over to the car and fill it up. So this is why this little funnel is nice. So you can tip it down and then it goes right in the hole. Just stick it in there and then let it fill. This is so you don't have to make any mess in your interior. Loosen the cap a little bit, it'll flow right in. Then you put the cap back on so you don't make a mess. And we'll go ahead and uh, fill up with the rest. All right, so I'm adding the last uh, liter and a half to make seven and a half. This thing makes it so much nicer and easier to handle to where you don't have to worry about making a mess inside your trunk. There we go. I'm gonna put this down and we'll put the cap on it. Wipe out the inside a little bit, just make sure no extra mess in there to get back up inside the car. All right, go ahead and stick your cap down in there. Come on, tighten it up to you the click. Trim cover goes on, that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and start it and uh, check the oil level, make sure everything's good, but that's pretty much a little change on the GT4. All right, so pretty much what you wanna do is let it run for about two, three minutes. Get the oil nice and hot, then you can check the level with the onboard computer. Let's go ahead and get it started. Alright guys, there's a little measurement in order to get to it. All you do is, uh, if you're on the screen, push the switch forward once, go down to uh, oil measurements, and then bring the oil measurement up, and then it shows right there. Looks like it's just a little bit on the low side. I'll go ahead and add about a half a liter to just top it off, and it should be good. Um, it's probably because I let it drain uh, excessive long time, probably about 15, 20 minutes of a straight little little stream. But other than that, um, I had to drive the car to get the whole level to come up. It was being uh, a little finicky. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll do the whole change here on GT4. If you like the videos, like and subscribe. If not, leave some comments below on what I can do better. All right. See you guys later.